Again, welcome to my YouTube channel, Tech and Programming. Myself, Pooja Verma. As you know, this is a tutorial series of Stat Pro. In this channel, I will cover all topics and software related to civil engineering. In this video, we will discuss about GUI and line grid editing. So please watch the video till end. Subscribe my channel, like, comment, share and don't forget to press the bell icon. So this is a GUI of Stat Pro. This is a main menu. Below it, this is a toolbar. This is a draw area. And this is data area. Here is page control. And this is called cursor menu so in this toolbar here is a new structure this is open structure close structure save copy cut paste delete undo redo and here is a uh, print toolbar print this is some other icons i will explain further here is a navigation bar as you see this is a model in isometric view as i want to change the view you can select if we want front view click on it this is a front view of the structure similarly bottom left right top view bottom and this is isometric view and these icons are used for rotate rotate up you can see rotate down rotate left rotate right these are the zoom icon this is dynamic zoom zoom extend zoom in zoom out zoom in factor if we want this structure two times zoom enter factor two okay you can see this is zoomed two times now you can zoom extend to fit it on the screen this is pan if we want to shift our page can click on it and you can shift your page this is magnifying glass you can see and this is 3d rendering this is our structure in 3d view you can see Here is some other option I will explain further. This is cursor bar. See when we want to select nodes, you can click on node, then you can select node. Okay. And when we want to select beam, you can go beam cursor and you can select beam. Similarly, plate cursor, surface cursor, solid cursor, geometry cursor. now come to the grid editing here is grid editing uh, snap node beam we open it i will explain it on new file file new space name linear 
grid editing meter kilo newton next add beam finish okay this is a new file and already grid are appear you can off the grid from here snap node beam option So this is a grid if we are in front view you can see these are uh, x axis and this is y axis in x axis 10 points are appear and in y axis also 10 points are appear if we want to edit this grid you can go edit If you want to change the plane of this grid, like uh, x, y, x, z, y, z, you can change from here. And this is grid origin. This is a origin. It's set on 0, 0, 0, x, 0, y, 0, z, 0. You can change this also. Like uh, we start origin from x, 10, y, 10, and z, 10. Now, this is some other options in x axis. This spacing are one meter, you can change it to okay. See, these spacing are on two, two meters. Again, go to grid. On y axis, we want 3 meters. You can change 3. Okay. These spacing are on 3 meter. Similarly, if we want to uh, extend these lines, you can go here x and click on it. Here, lines are increases. And similarly, on y axis, you can also do this. Okay, now, okay. In this way, you can change your linear grid. From next video, I will explain you how to create a new grid, whether it is linear or circular or irregular. So, keep watching. Stay safe. Thank you.